Hello, in this Flutter video, I am going to show you the text widget. So we got some here. This is the default code. So what we are going to do is inside of the underscore my homepage state class, we are going to remove this child, which is essentially all of this. We're going to remove that. I'm going to start adding stuff manually. So a little cool trick to see where this bracket closes. If you click on it or just before it, it will show you the corresponding one. Luckily, there's comments to help us, but if there wasn't, this really does aid us. And a lot of editors will provide that functionality. So if I was to save that, hot reload, as you can see, that disappears now. So to add a text widget, it's pretty simple. You do text, colon, child. Mm, oh, sorry. You put child first, colon, text and we need to put a comma at the end and inside of here we can put our text so if I say hello world and I save that as you can see it appears right there regarding positioning we'll get onto that in separate videos and what we can also do is change the font style so if we put a comma we let's say put style colon text style and this takes a parameter and we could set different stuff i'm just going to set the font what should i change i'm going to change the font fine 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 i'm just trying to think which one should i change now it's, it's totally up to me which one i want to change change the font style so i'm changing the font style and you just do font style dot and we can do italic so if i save that as you can see it slightly changed italic let me change something else instead let me make it font style and what are the properties actually no forget about font style let me show you a different one we can do instead of font style we can do font weight so font weight so we can do font size as well and as an extra task only to go for the different properties and the font family which will change the actual you know you know the actual what's it called the actual font itself i'm going to provide a link so you can experiment with that but the one i want to just quickly show you is the font weight so the font weight you can do font weight dot bold as you can see it is now bold so that's basically how you add any sort of widget is child then the name of the widget and then any you know properties this requires this one property which is essentially the string itself that is going to display in separate videos i'm going to cover positioning i'm going to cover gestures i'm going to cover all of that stuff but the whole purpose of not just this video but a lot of the videos in this series is to essentially show you the little snippets that it requires to do you know to do the text object and then gestures you know like you, you know tapping a text piece of text or tap, tapping a button the code is basically the same so instead of showing you that in every video i'll show you in one video or you know a, a few videos covering gestures and you can apply that to all your widgets so if you have questions about some extra functionality don't worry it's a bit more generic and therefore it's coming in a separate video if you have any questions though feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video